that you know um, we are definitely on the upswing the way the markets work they go up and down and up and down so if you don't want to take risks there are some guaranteed things out there period yeah. that will be guaranteed for you know for as long as you have your monies in those funds okay at a high level, I'd like to ask you this, and this will be the start if you're okay mm -hmm. with it, because we have a conference call every Saturday, and um, we get on the call with people around the country that are a part of Coach Rick's winners. Mm -hmm. We've got uh, Tommy Thompson, who's at our home base in Cordova, Tennessee, in Memphis, the Memphis, Tennessee area. Mm -hmm. We've got uh, Ronnie Thompson, who's in the Cincinnati area, Nick Hubbard, who's in Cincinnati. We've got Tommy Liggins, who's in uh, Illinois, Carbondale, Illinois. Mm -hmm. We've got Robert Jenkins, who's in Athens, Georgia. So all of us converge upon uh, this one call, and uh, our one goal is to make sure that we can help these young student athletes. So we would like to invite you on the call sometime so okay. that we can start the process of how we can educate our parents mm -hmm. as well as our young student athletes as they exit high school, mm -hmm. preparing for college, and then for those who are fortunate enough to move on to jobs, we'll just say within yeah. the industry, because we really want our young people to realize that reality says there's only so much room to play in pro sports. So yeah, right. Coach Rick's winner's goal is to help to prepare them for other careers in sports because there are so many things that they can do. Mm -hmm. From a financial perspective, if you were talking to a group of parents of young student athletes, what would be some of the basic nuts and bolts things that you would share with them? Now parents, I'm gonna ask you to mm -hmm. grab a pen and paper <laughs> so that uh, you can grab some of this information and then I'm gonna make sure to give you my contact information and Ms. Sherrod's information so that we'll be able to uh, receive any more questions later. Mm -hmm. So what's some, just some thumbnail sketch mm -hmm. kinds of, of advice would you share? Yeah, I mean, you know, definitely, um, you know, learn to save. And it didn't have anything to do with athletes or anything, but in this country as a whole, we are some of the worst savers you ever want to see. You wonder why China was buying up a lot, you know, a lot of the, you know, abandoned buildings and things of that nature uh, when their recession hit because they had money, they had saved. They, you know, save anywhere from 25 to 40 percent of their income. Wow. We don't. We save two percent. If us some, we're lucky, we give save us some 2%. practical ways that we can save. Yeah, you know, practical ways that you can save. Just take 10 percent of your check okay. and put it in the savings. But I may miss my 10 percent. That's what most people say. So, what advice would you share with them? I mean, things <laughs> aren't. The train won't go off the track if they don't. If they save the 10 percent, haven't you found that? To That's be true? what they've got to get their mind set on. Mm -hmm. The train is not going to go off the track if you save the 10. Even if you look at some of the things that you're spending the 10 per the 10 on, right. what actually happened to it? Did you buy, you know, you know, some of this, you know, expensive coffee? Did you buy clothes that went out of style six months later? I mean, do you know what I'm saying? I mean, so some of the stuff, you know, McDonald's that wasn't healthy for you, yes, we do have to eat. But we also need to watch the things that we eat and make them and make sure that they're healthy. So we uh, you know, buying foods, they're going to kind of basically destroy our bodies now and then we have to pay for it later. So, you know, save. Uh, you also definitely want to look at, and I know this sounds, you know, weird, but giving. Okay. Whether you are a member of a church and you choose to tithe or whether you want to give to the animal shelter or to United Way or to whomever, but if you give, you're gonna, you, I promise you, you're gonna be much happier and have more money to spend than if you keep it all to yourself. I know one of the things that the NFL does, the NBA does, that I know for sure, they make these players to a great extent, you know, the ones that are really making some serious money, have a form of giving that where they give back. It could be a basketball camp, it could be giving money away, you know, giving money back to high school or, 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 or to, you know, inner city kids. But these players make so much money 
they, you know, have set up a system where they have to give so much of it back. Okay. You know what I'm so saying? to just to I guess to to give a snapshot of some of the things that you've said, and that's mm -hmm. some really great information. Right. Number one, fads. Just stay away from the fad buying because it's like flushing money down. Uh, the other thing is going out to restaurants. Reward yourself. So are you telling me that I have been taking my lunch now since about 1970? Think mm -hmm. I've saved any money? Of course you save money. <laughs> yeah. And let me also make this clear. I'm not saying don't buy any fads. I'm just saying you can't spend all your money on on, on $400 tennis shoes. Oh. You got 10 pair in the closet. Mm -hmm. Take that money and save it. You don't need to keep doing that. I'm not saying never go out to eat. If you never go out to eat, that's not going to last long. You're going to eat out more than you normally do. All what I'm saying is to set aside money to say, this is my eating out money. I'm going to set aside $100 a month where I can treat myself and go out and eat. I'm not going to spend $500 a month going out to eat. That, there's a drastic difference. Do you see what right. I'm saying? Because you want to save yeah. some of that money so I can borrow exactly. some from you, right? Yeah. Well, I don't know about that. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm not saying don't ever buy any Absolutely. you know, fancy tennis shoes or anything of that nature or you know, any type of designer clothes. Do it within reason. Mm -hmm. Set budget. Right. This is what I'm going to buy. What I do when I get ready to buy stuff, I write that I will make a list. Mm -hmm. And these are the five things that I need. And as I buy them, I check them off on the list. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I make a list is so I can stick to that list. Right. Because people say about doing that in the grocery store, do that when you go to the mall. Because yeah. I go to the mall and go in for a pair of boots. Uh, and I come out with five hats. Right, got If you. I don't have a list and say, Absolutely. boots, 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 boots. Yeah. That's all I want is boots, not hats. Yeah. <laughs> now, and what I'm getting from you, quite honestly, is those little hinges ultimately swing mm -hmm. big doors because yeah. if you save enough in a number of different places, then ultimately you can see the difference. Let's move on because I know that we could do a seminar right oh, here. Oh, yeah, yeah. A half-day <laughs> seminar. So let's talk about uh, some things. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we are with Ms. Carol Sherrod. Uh, she is an investment professional, and we're talking about show me the money and mm -hmm. show me ways to save the money. Mm -hmm. um, Ms. Sherrod can be reached at 901-569-7419. 901-569-7419. One nine. As a reminder, I'm Coach Ricks, and I can be reached at 901-870-7492. That's R-I-X-2, 901-870-7492. Also, Facebook us on um, at Ricky Tucker. Um, I had to think about that, whether it was Ricky Tucker or Coach Ricks, but either way, uh, Ricky Tucker or Coach Ricks. Uh, Facebook us because we would like to make sure that we're able to share some of this information with you. Mm -hmm. uh, once again, we're talking with uh, Ms. Sherrod. Ms. Sherrod, now, as with any other profession, mm -hmm. you love some things, and some things are really a challenge. Mm -hmm. tell, us, uh, tell us some of the things that you really think about what you do and seeing your work mm -hmm. really come to uh, Come to come to action. Yeah. yeah. One of the things too, um, I've heard you mention this a couple of times, and I uh, want to just share with people. I I kind of I more so consider myself a financial lifestyle coach. Oh, good. Okay? I like that. Now, everybody's going to have different standards. If I'm talking to someone that makes $5 million, of course I'm going to coach them in a whole different direction than someone that makes $50,000, okay? I think the thing I, that frustrates me, not so much I don't like that, but that frustrates me about my work is whether you have millions of dollars or you only have a few thousand, the advice or the recommendations that I make for people to, to go forth and to follow through on them. That's what frustrates me the most. When I can see a way you out of debt and you're just telling me it's impossible, I just can't do it, I just can't do it, it's impossible. Right. And you don't even try. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's kind of the frustrating part. And then you find out so many years later, you know, a couple of years later, something that they filed for bankruptcy or they lost their house. They could have just simply done this and simply done that, and they would have kept everything that they had. Wow. You know, it could be something as simple as telling them, 
not to get a variable mortgage, but get a fixed mortgage. Oh, but the variable mortgage saved me $100 a month on my home. All right, but the fixed mortgage was something that was never gonna change. So when that variable mortgage changes, yeah, up front it saved you $100 on your home, but then it went up, your house note went up by 500 bucks and you end up losing it. Absolutely. So yeah. that's kind of, I think, the frustrating thing. And so just not listening, because I tell you, when I hear variable rates, that's mm -hmm. sweet music to my ear because as a corporate uh, leader, mm -hmm. I never stayed in the city long enough for the rates to increase. So exactly. for me, it worked. Exactly. And so I, I hear you saying, if they just only listen to you mm -hmm. and take your advice, then mm -hmm. uh, things are would be great. Well, you know, it's pretty interesting because some people on one end of the spectrum, they think, well, I don't make enough money to really, for it to really matter, so I'm just not gonna save. On the other end of the spectrum, my dad flies Learjets. Mm -hmm. And so we've had these conversations where people have had what we would call new money, and they think they can't mm -hmm. go broke. But right. because they don't listen to people like Ms. Sherrod, and I really love this title, this financial lifestyle coach, because they don't listen to you, then unfortunately they do see themselves mm -hmm. go in a really great position to right. unfortunately being in, a, in a, a situation that's pretty sad. And that's one of the things that we are designed, that's one of the things that mm -hmm. is my vision as Coach Ricks mm -hmm. and Coach Ricks winners is for us to make sure that we prevent people from doing so. Exactly, and I tell people, I mean, I'm not here to coach you into poverty. Yes. If you want to be coached into poverty, you need to go elsewhere. Absolutely. Okay? But let's figure out what you want your lifestyle to be. If that's two kids, a dog, a $100,000 home, and that's where you're going to be for the rest of your life, let's get you to that point. Let's okay. do this because I knew that this was going to happen yeah. before it started getting really good. The time is growing near. Okay. So if you'll do me a favor and just in one short sentence, mm -hmm. what bit of advice would you give people as it relates to finances and achieving their goal? Mm -hmm. Always uh, uh, spend less than what you make. Always, always. Great. And don't forget to put away at least 10% of your income. Good, great. That sounds really good. 10% easy pickings mm -hmm. because you really won't miss it. And um, don't think in terms of overspending. Ladies okay. and gentlemen, there you have it. Um, it has certainly been a pleasure. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have to either get you back on the show we're going to have to get you involved with our Coach Ricks winners mm -hmm. calls and seminars and things that we'll have planned uh, for around the country at some mm -hmm. point. Mm -hmm. If you're willing to travel with us and let's save some lives and save some money. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Carol Sherrod, she's a financial lifestyle coach. She is also the author of How to Be a Millionaire. God, God's Way, mm -hmm. The Secret to Financial Success. Mm -hmm. It has certainly been our pleasure. Ms. Sherrod can be reached at 901-569-7419, 901-569-7419. It's certainly been a pleasure to talk about ways to save money. And we've just really scratched the surface merely. Mm -hmm. But uh, we do thank you. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Coach Ricks. And once again, uh, this has been the best of and as you recall, we have been dedicating these series to Coach Rick's winners, bringing your A game, Plan B, and Plan C for career transition. I can be reached at 901-870-7492 or Facebook us at Ricky Tucker on Facebook. It's been a pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, we...